street dogs, street gods, street demigods, dogs. Right, some uh, morning thoughts. Right, so how to replace your laptop with your iPad, iPad Pro. So this is the Ricoh GR3X, right? Super duper cool. It charges via your MacBook Pro charger. Very convenient. What you just do is you just pop this out, take out the SD card, and you just put that bad boy in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Assuming that you have the new USB C's, you just plug that into the bottom of your iPad, iPad Pro, etc. And toss this back into your Ricos. Turn on. Format. Right. And if you're all curious what my EK settings is, Currently speaking, just JPEG, JPEG only, small JPEG, what is it? 3000 resolution, resolution seems to be fine. Okay, so. Some <clears throat> garage thought talks. Get the Metal Vent 2.0 Lululemon license to train on clearance, super good. Something you'll find out once you use a new parent. Oh, pro tip if you got a kid, get them the Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings, Sen loves them, and also the heat ultra warm Heat Tech tops. Also, the training diapers, uh, no, sorry, training underwears. We got these on Amazon when he was like, uh, how old was he? Five months old. Start them early. And also the ex-officio boxer beefs. These is the ones. What else do I got in here? Okay. Ooh, the Lululemon license to train shorts. These are pretty phenomenal. I'm like, oh, if you're curious what a outlier.nyc shirt looks like after two years, three years of repeated use. My mom calls it Raggedy Ann. I call it my, my billionaire beggar look. Okay. So some thoughts on how to replace your laptop with the iPad. So first and foremost, um, I don't think actually an iPad is a laptop replacement. I've tried replacing it with my laptop for a very, very long time. Alas, with uh, no avail. The big problem is that the architecture of the iPad is just not super well suited for um, iPad, iPad OS. It's uh, very, very good. Shout out to the Apple iPad team, but it's just not really well suited for um, uh, super duper heavy duty computing, super hardcore FTP stuff. Okay, it's raining too hard for me to go outside. Um, and uh, as a consequence, uh, unfortunately, to some extent, you're always going to need a laptop or a desktop computer somewhere at some extent. So currently I have like a 2017 refurbished uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, space gray touch bar that was maxed out. I bought for like 2000 bucks a few years back on the online Apple, Apple refurbished store. And uh, now the battery lasts like a minute without having the charger plugged in. And therefore um, I'm kind of, I treat it like a desktop. I just kind of keep it plugged in. I only ever really use my laptop now if I have some super duper heavy computing stuff to do uh but otherwise yeah the ipad pro i'm using the m1 um the 11 inch uh, space gray the what i think 256 memory i just bought the middle memory one that was available um and uh some very, very basic thoughts include uh, so, you know, photography wise, right? So either shoot with the iPhone Pro, you know, 
black and white mode. Pro tip, you could actually turn on the creative controls and turn to noir mode, and then turn on the new photographic styles and turn on rich contrast. It's, uh, it's good. Um, or, and or just have shoot with your Ricoh GR3, 3X. Even um, the reason why I prefer the 3, the 3X over the 2 was the two in-camera JPEG settings for high contrast black and white, they just didn't look uh, good. They require some massaging, shooting in RAW. That's my free Air Kim presets. Just Google Air Kim presets for Lightroom. You can download them for free. Um, but now the in-camera JPEG for the Ricoh GR3 3X is phenomenal. If you're curious the difference between the 3 and 3X, the 3X has a 40 mil, the 3 has a 28 mil. I think, surprisingly, I think the 40 mil is actually superior to the 28 mil. And so I think the Ricoh GR3 X I would actually rate it at least three times as good as the Ricoh GR3, in my opinion. I think the image resolution just looks way better. The image quality looks way better. And I actually prefer the the, the focal length. Great for taking photos of your kids, street photography, selfies, etc. Um, yeah, just my thought. But if he's rich enough, actually, no, I just get both. I was gonna say I was gonna say buy both, but I'm like, eh, just get stick with the the 3X, but anyways, um, oh, some also some fun ideas if you own more than one Rico GR3 3X. Keep one in your glove compartment if you're stuck tra uh, commuting trans, uh, commuting lot. Also, pro tip, if you wear the Lululemon shorts, just put it in your front right pocket. It's a good way to always have your camera ready for you when you're shooting photos, but anyways. So shooting um, JPEG, extra small JPEG or small JPEG is sufficient. And transferring photos to your iPad via the Apple Photos, don't use Lightroom. Um, you, via the USB-C um, SD card adapter is very fast and robust. And directly from your iPad, use Safari, don't use Chrome. Chrome is essentially adware. Uh, Safari is, man, I think Safari, like shout out to the Safari team. It's like a quadrillion times better than Chrome. Also right now the Chrome icon, it's just so ugly. I think the, even Steve Jobs, right? He's like, we want to make icons so beautiful that they're lickable. So even nowadays, I refrain from using apps where the icon is ugly. Like even, I don't like to use Google Maps because the icon's so ugly. Even though Apple Maps is far inferior, at least the, uh, the icon looks better. So shout out to um, Apple Maps team. Oh, Apple Maps team, y'all, if y'all watching this suggestion, right? So like I'm driving and then the whole thing is like, is there still an accident here? I'm like, dude, you almost got me into a car accident asking me whether there's still an accident. I'm like, turn that shit off, right? Um, or have it just as the opt-in suggestion at the, the beginning. Um, and Google Maps team, yeah, make make the icon more beautiful. I'm like, it's so funny because like, Google, y'all so rich and Google's so rich. I'm like, why does all the branding and the design stuff, it's just so, uh, so ugly. I'm like, can't you just poach some Apple designers and just like redesign all the icons? Anyways, that's just my thought. Um, and yeah, so I would just say, um, I would say that the iPad could replace probably like 99% what you do, but not 1%. So my friend, uh, June, uh, Goodhouse Kim, he just bought a refurbished or a used I, um, a Mac mini, the M1. And then he just uses that. And then he uses a lot on his, um, iPad Pro. I would suggest don't get the stupid pencil, which is a st stylus. Don't get the Apple stylus. Remember, remember how Steve Jobs hated styluses so much? And then all y'all, it's so disingenuous. Like Steve Jobs was so anti many things. But once Steve Jobs died, they done did the dirty and did everything that he didn't want. Um, just read the Walter Isaacson biography on Steve Jobs. You'll figure out everything he hated. Um, don't get the stupid keyboard. He's like, y'all turning the iPad, iPad Pro into a fucking netbook. You remember netbooks? I had one in college. I actually like the netbook, but then, uh, yeah, last, the, the, the secret to iPad, iPad Pro is standing computing. So if you looked at the uh, patent or the early diagrams for the visualization of iPad, it was a man standing holding the iPad as a um, tablet, just in one hand, kind of like holding a tablet, like a stone tablet, like Moses, right? And the more you could stand and walk around, the better. Um, even the, I find the iPad Pro, especially when you do the ultra wide mode and you know, just doing vlogs, it's actually a very robust uh, vlogging tool because 
you could vlog it and you could directly upload to the YouTube. Once again, just open up the Safari tab, youtube.com slash upload and directly upload your photos from there. Um, also use the voice dictation, built-in Apple keyboard thing. So enable voice dictation and use IA Writer in Markdown. And this is how I do all my email newsletters now and stuff like that. I don't, I never type on my keyboard anymore. And also the good thing about this is that I've essentially cured my um, carpal tunnel. I think carpal tunnel is just a manifestation of having to type. If you have to type for a living, like Cindy, she's writing her um, book right now, buy the Kinesis keyboard. It's like 300 bucks, totally worth it. Um, but the voice is a thousand times stronger than the fingers. And so building iron lungs is better than building iron uh, fingers. Um, also, my suggestion is just get the iPad Pro. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's so funny because like, you bought iPad Pro for what? $799, right? It's still cheaper, still $200 cheaper than the cheapest iPhone Pro. And I would actually argue that the iPad Pro is at least a thousand times better as a productivity device than the iPhone Pro. The only reason someone would buy an iPhone Pro is for the camera. But if you already have a standalone digital camera like a Regal GR3 3X, there's really no reason to have an iPhone Pro. It's only people who should be buying it. It's like, if you want to buy it, like just a really good phone camera for your mom or for like, a, you know, girls who aspire to be influencers. Yeah, but <laughs> other, other than that, there's really no, no reason to, to get it. Um, I think, uh, We shouldn't even think of it as an iPhone anymore. Just think of it as like an eye camera. But still, once again, even though the image quality on the iPhone Pro is really good, the Ricoh GR3 3X look at least like 100,000 times better. So just stick with that instead. Uh, and also, you, the Ricoh GR3 X is still cheaper than the iPhone Pro. So just, just get that. Even Sen loves it too. Um, and so with the iPad Pro as well, uh, the cool thing too is you could just walk around with it and just look like a stupid Asian tourist and just work on it that way. And the modern day image we have of like, um, <laughs> I guess a digital nomad or a digital working person at a cafe, you know, sitting down to Phil's coffee, plugged in, hunched over, <laughs> AirPods pros in their ears, right? Or like Cindy call it, likes to call it the AirBuds. Like, what you got, the AirBuds? AirBuds pros? AirBuds pros, pros maxes? This is where the... Wait, Apple called it Apple Watch Ultra? Didn't Samsung had a phone called the Ultra? I'm like, man, Apple, y'all y'all got a Apple marketing team. If you need some uh, marketing suggestions, just shoot me an email, eric at erickim.com. Got some good ideas for you. So, um, so yeah, so with the iPad Pro, it's the most beautiful way, in my opinion, to view your photos. And don't get the stupid 13 inch, get the 11 inch. It's the, the best size. Um, and I was also thinking about it too iPad uh, Pro 11 inch is essentially the spiritual successor to my old beloved 11 inch MacBook Air, which was stolen in uh, Paris when I was doing a workshop there many years, uh, many years back. And actually the 11 inch iPad uh, MacBook Air was by far my favorite laptop. I was going to get the 12 inch MacBook when I was around, but uh, And actually I did buy one, but then the keyboard gave me a carpal tunnel, so I had to return it. Um, it's so funny, it's like, people always think about laptops like that. The most important thing is that the laptop doesn't give you pain. It's like, binary. Does laptop, said laptop give you carpal tunnel or not? That should be the big consideration. Maybe that's also a, re a good reason to get the 14 inch MacBook Pro if it doesn't give you carpal tunnel, right? Um, and yeah, just try to adopt a maximally mobile lifestyle so for even for example when i'm like in downtown area right all these losers just like hunched over working on their laptops or even ipads you know the, the funny thing is you always see a dude like you always see one dude at the coffee shop with an ipad pro fucking pencil <laughs> keyboard it's got a floating keyboard like trying to look cool <laughs> the best thing is get your coffee and just walk around vlog on your ipad um, and use voice dictation, write out your thoughts, review your photos. Oh yeah, so reviewing your photos on the iPad Pro, 
by far the most beautiful experience especially with the faster refresh rate it's just so buttery smooth what was it called the 120 hertz or something i'm not quite sure um so beautiful uh and i find that shooting small jpeg on the rico gr3x3 is um the best resolution where you can see insane details like the display is so good it's crazy right and also the great thing with uh computing is made more personal with the ipad you hold your device and it becomes like part of you um according to steve jobs vision um also i think you're less efficient on an ipad because you're single tasking but ironically enough that actually does make you more productive because multitasking is full of suckers the ipad forces you to single task which actually makes you more productive so it makes you less efficient but more productive less efficient but more productive that that should be a good ipad tagline but anyways um i would say the thing too with the ipad and the ipad pro you just have to keep experimenting with it honestly i'm still discovering new tips and tricks i would actually suggest If you can't figure out something to work, just don't Google it. Just try to figure it out yourself. Um, and just know that it's not a perfect device. Neither is a laptop or any perfect device. But um, treat it like a creative constraint. Discover your own workarounds.